Should I take a sip first for good luck? Today's video is gonna be really fun. First of all, I'm drinking some rose. So you guys already know when I have a little bit of alcohol in my system, I'm actually a lot more funner. Is that even a word? I'm just a better person, I'm happier. I enjoy life a little more. But I figure today's gonna be a chill night. It's Friday night, we're home. I've had my nails done in three months, actually five months. And I figure let's go ahead and film this together. Today, guys, I am going to be doing my very own nails. I'm not talking polish and a little manicure. I'm gonna do my very own jelly nails. I've been getting the Gelux nails for a long time now, and I love them so much. But as you guys know, quarantine happened and everything's been closed. And even when they did reopen, I actually never made an appointment. I didn't attempt to go down there. And finally, when I was like, I'm gonna go get them done, everything closed again. So I was scrolling on Instagram one day and came across this cute tutorial right here. Quick nail application, like three steps, so fun, so easy. And when I was reading the caption, I realized that they actually sold the set. So I decided to buy my very own set. And today is the day that I'm going to be putting them on, not only for me, but for you guys as well. Because I'm sure a lot of you guys are curious as to if this is really as easy as it looks. Like, yes, it does work because I see people that rock them, do them themselves. But is this as easy as it looks on Instagram? I'm sure a lot of you guys are curious as to what are jelly tips. And honestly, I've been doing like the Gel X, the Gel Nail for a while now. I like it so much better than acrylic. It's actually better for your nails than acrylic. And on top of that, it's so much easier. Like the actual going in and getting your nails done is quicker. It's easy. Every nail comes out amazing. Like I've never had any issues with it. So pretty much uh, they are a nail extension to your fingertip. They're lightweight, easy to apply, time-saving alternative compared to traditional enhancements. Specifically designed to last up for three weeks without any lifting or chipping, and I can confirm that is 120% true. When I were to get the gel eggs, I could go maybe like a month, a month and a half without having to come back in. I mean, at that point, they do get a little like soft on the edges and I have to like file them and fix them a little bit. But other than that, they would last so long on top of that with like the actual gel polish even longer. And something that really sold me on this one in particular is the fact that it's a soak off. So what that means is that they can be easily removed without any damage and you can switch up your manicure as often as you like. So I purchased it from the brand, I think it's Kiara Sky. I will go ahead and show the photo of the kit that I got right here. So it came with the jelly tips and it also came with the prep, the primer, the builder and the top coat. So all four of those. And then on top of that, it came with a lamp that you guys are gonna see me using throughout the entire video. This is like the absolute must to really bond everything together. And lastly, before we get started, I wanna go over the sizes that they offer. That was one of the biggest selling points to me because I'm not somebody that knows how to shape, especially when it comes to my left hand. I cannot do anything with my left hand when it comes to like applying things on. So the fact that they're already like pre-shaped for you makes it so much easier and it just makes me so happy. They did have them in a few sizes. So they have medium coffin, which is what I got, long coffin, medium stiletto, medium almond, and medium square. The good about this is if you do get your nails done often or you are like a nail tech, I'm sure that you can like size these down for your clients because I'm sure you guys have a specific way you like it to look. But for me, as a consumer, as like an everyday kind of girl, these are perfect that I don't have to do much filing or anything. Uh, there will be a little bit filing and you guys will see why. And before we get started, this is something that's gonna make you guys very happy, but we have two cameras today, woo! So we have camera number one, that's on me right now. You guys see me, we're talking, we're vibing. Then we got camera number two. This baby right here is gonna be capturing all the action going on. I have everything that I need on my sanitary maintenance area. If you guys went to be to school, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like I said, I'm a little scared, guys, but I'm really, really excited. So uh, let's go ahead and get into today's nail video. I'm gonna start by giving myself a manicure. I went ahead and added some hot water in here with some soap, and I was gonna go ahead and dip my hands in here. Now, I don't have like a spa soap, but I use like my bubble bath, Laura Mercier one, which is like my most luxurious one that I have. It's milk and honey, so I have this in here. I'm gonna go ahead and just dip my hands in and let them sit in there for a little bit. Now, the reason it's important to do a manicure first is because if you're like me, somebody who's always cleaning, who's always just like rough and using their hands, you're more than likely to have cuticles like this. Like I have terrible cuticles, ugly nail beds. I feel like I just have like a lot of damage on my nails right now and I need to prep it before I go in with like everything else. Think of it like a pedicure. If you went to a pedicure spot and they didn't like exfoliate and clean your nails out, it wouldn't come out the way you want it to. So to get that really clean, clean finish, 
it's important to give yourself a little at home mani. So like I said in here, I have hot, hot water with my very luxurious Laura Mercier Milk and Honey Bubble Bath Soap. I figured this would be really good because that one just have a bunch of essential oils in there. So it's going to keep my skin feeling nice. So I went ahead and dip my fingers into the bowl and I'm letting them just kind of soak in there for a few minutes. You're going to see me moving my hands around. And I'm actually now going to take this little brush that you guys see right here. I'm going to dip it in there and I'm just going to go ahead and clean off my nails just to kind of get any grime off. I don't think I have any, but you know, let's just do it. They do it when you get a manicure, so I'm going to do it. I'm moving to the side now. And I'm going to start off by getting this device right here. It looks like a little spatula. But I'm going to now start by pushing my nail beds back. Oh my God, I don't know why it's making me cringe. Look at that. Ew, what is that? We'd be getting all kinds of things out around here. Now, I've never done my own manicure. So I could be doing this completely wrong. Nail text. Don't judge me. I'm going to grab my little my little guy now and just kind of clean up a little bit. Make sure that you don't hurt yourself doing this because it can happen for sure. Wow, that's a good one right there. You saw that? This nail is going through it. Next hand, the struggle hand. So now that I pushed back my cuticles, nails are clean and prepped, we're going to move into the actual nail application. And I'm actually going to be following the instruction guide that came with the kit. I figured this will be a lot better and easier for me to explain and do. And it's really simple. It's, well, it's 13 steps, which sounds crazy, but it's just because they add like the prep and tips that you should do when applying it, which I thought was pretty cool and helpful, especially with your first time doing it. So step one, which says nail prep, begin with clean, sanitized hands and nails. Ding. Uh, push back cuticles. Ding. Lastly, it says remove the shine from nails with a file. So I'm actually gonna take a buffer because I don't have too much of a nail. My nail buds are kind of little. So I'm just gonna go ahead and buff my nails out. And then it said that the file too, that you should be focusing this on the cuticle and edges of the nail. So after doing the center, I'm just kind of going back over the cuticle area and edges as well to make sure that they are nice and filed down. So now that my cuticles are cut down, nails are filed, we're gonna go ahead and move into sizing the jelly tips onto my nail bed. So this kit comes with 11 sizes and 500 pieces. And yesterday I was kind of trying them on and playing around and I believe one was the one that worked for my thumb. From tips that I've read online is that you wanna make sure that it's not too small nor too big. This one's kind of just in between. It's like a little big on the outside, but not too bad. I think that one will do versus double zero. This one just hangs off way too much onto my actual skin and same with zero. And then when I tried on number two, um, I found this one to be too small and I hear that when it's too small, it will pop off. So we're gonna go ahead and go with one. I'm gonna go ahead and measure this side as well, make sure we are the same on each side, which we are. So I'm gonna go ahead and just actually uh, lay them directly over each other so that we know which size goes with which. So now moving on to my index finger. I believe this one was the size of that one, or was it number five? Number four seems pretty good for the index. I think that one will work. We're gonna do four for the middle finger as well. And then lastly for my ring finger, I'm gonna go actually with number eight. I think this one actually fit perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and reference them again for you guys. So we have number one for the thumbs, number four for the index finger, number four for the middle finger, number five for the ring finger, and then number eight for the pinky. So next on the list of things to do is just to lightly remove the shine from the inside of the jelly tip that will come in contact with the natural nail with an e-file. I went ahead and purchased my very own drill. I got this on Amazon. Again, I will link it down below for you guys. It actually came with all the little devices as well. And I feel really legit. Like, listen to this. Hee 
it says on here that we actually have to remove the inside of that jelly tip uh which is going to be like this shine right here and again another one of my subscribers told me that it's important to do all the prep stuff first so when you go when you're doing them it's just like a bam 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 kind of situation versus having to stop and do everything i'm gonna go ahead now and start just drilling the inside of the nail as i told you guys i went ahead and went with this little head i don't know if this is the right one but it actually looks identical to the one she's using so i'm assuming that's what it is <laughs> we are nowhere near being done by the way this is just all prep it's kind of like skincare you got to prep everything before so that it can lay on a better foundation it lays on a better surface it lasts longer there is levels to it so now we're going to go ahead and actually prime and prep the nails so starting off with step one which i love that it says one on here it makes it just so easy to know that it's one and that's like the first step you got to do i'm going to go ahead and just shake it up and I'm gonna go ahead and apply one coat of the onto my natural nail. Okay, so now that we applied one coat of the prep, we're now gonna move into the primer. Do one coat. So now I'm gonna move into applying the builder. This is the most crucial one that we need for this. This is actually going to bond the jelly tip and my nail together and make it last for weeks and weeks and weeks. It says here to apply a thin layer of the builder over natural nails and cure for 30 seconds with the flash cure LED lamp. Which guys, I'm really sad to say this, but I cannot find the individual lamp. It's misplaced somewhere. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Walmart lamp, which is actually really good. So apply a thin layer of the builder over natural nails. Cure for 30 seconds with the Flash Cure LED lamp. So I am just going to do this one hand at a time. We're gonna go ahead and do 30 seconds. Was that 30 seconds? Oh yeah, that was 30 seconds, right? Okay. So now that we have that, we're gonna go ahead and apply the filter. Let's do this, guys. Press down, it's popping off. <laughs> Come on. We're gonna do this one. Apply a thin layer. What is thin? You guys, I'm like not tipsy at this point. I am stressed to be honest with you guys because it's popping off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is this normal? You know what? I'm just gonna do this and see weird it is staying on. She's on. I'm actually gonna try the other nails real quick. Come on, we could do this. We got this. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and press down. Wow, you guys, they're on. And they feel like secure and snatched. They feel, they feel secure, they feel good. I'm gonna try this one more time with the baby nail. Oh my God, see guys, it doesn't wanna like go on and it's the right size. Oh, now you wanna stay. It's working guys, it's working! It's crooked, no! Oh, oh man, that is like beyond, <laughs> beyond crooked. Oh wow, it's like really on there. It's, that is, that's not good enough. They feel good. Oh wow, I gotta take a drink for that. Okay, I think I got it down. I think I got it. Again, light, thin coat. Gonna go ahead and press down firmly with my thumb, as it says in the instructions. She made it very clear. I'm gonna go ahead and just press down on my thumb. I understand why the individual lamp is actually crucial for this. It actually makes complete sense, and I'm so sad that I don't know where the lamp is. 
Oh, it says remove thumb and ro oh my god, it does say that my thumb needs to be on there. So it says here, press the jelly tip to the natural nail with your thumb. Cure under a uniquely designed flash cure lamp, which is what I lost. Uh, remove thumb and rotate nail to cure for an additional 30 seconds to make sure sides and edges are fully cured. Okay, this is very, very important and I keep forgetting that. Uh, when you push it on, it does kind of pop off, but the minute it goes under the light, guys, it almost seals it together. And the one that they came with in the kit, I'll put a photo of it right here, is so little. It's so easy to actually like maneuver your hand with it. I feel like if I would have had it, it would have been a lot easier. You guys, hand one is done and I'm actually like really shocked right now. Oh my God, this one is so crooked. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Oh my God, is this one crooked? I'm gonna go ahead and just lightly file the top. Uh, if you guys know, at the very top of the nail, there's always like that little weird area. So I'm gonna go ahead and just file that down. And then after that, I'm gonna actually buff the nail as well. Oh my God, I keep messing this nail up. You guys, I am not mad at myself right now. Yes, it was a struggle in the beginning, but I think I got it down. Now that I filed the tip down, I'm gonna go ahead and buff them. Remove shine from surface with gel tip with a file, which I'm assuming just allows like the polish to just kind of grasp better. Oh, what up? <laughs> Love it. They actually look really good. Now that I found them, I see them coming together. So I went ahead and did, like I said, all the hard work already on this hand. I filed the, the top down, which I think they came out good on that side. I think they look even. I can't tell with this one. Yeah, the sound of that just makes me, does something weird to me inside. What you want? I feel like my old self right now. <laughs> We're gonna move into this hand. I'm gonna actually apply a little bit of that primer once again. I always see the girls at the salon do this, like when they work on one hand and they move to the next one, they always add a little bit more primer on there just to kind of reprep it again. And now we're gonna move into the builder, which is going to be what obviously is going to bond everything together. So one thing I did on the last hand that I kind of messed up is I did a really thick layer. You have to actually do a thin layer. So I'm gonna do a thin layer, just kind of working off what I have already on the actual brush tip. And now I'm gonna go ahead and place it in here. It says for 30 seconds. For every single time I do a set, we gotta take a sip. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the pinky. Wow, I'm so happy that I did the other hand first because I'm struggling a little bit now with nails. Oh, that madre. Oh my gosh, you guys, this may actually be a lot harder than I thought. I don't know if I'm just drunk or what's going on, but it's really hard. <laughs> oh my God, I get it. <laughs> 10 seconds with your finger on there, let it go. 30 seconds on its own. I figured it out. No air bubbles, I figured it out. It only took six fingers. I figured it out. La diferencia. You can see the biggest difference in this. I'm gonna go ahead and just complete the same steps for all of the nails. Thin layer. Remember guys, hold it down. Go ahead and leave it in there for 10 seconds with your thumb in there and then release. You guys, this is why you should always tip your nail ladies a lot because this is so much work. Prior to being like a YouTuber full time, I was actually a makeup artist. I've always been around hairstylists, nail techs and Honestly, to do service jobs is a lot of work. People may not think it is, but it is a lot of work. This alone right here made me just respect them on another level. I always tip my girls pretty good, but this is just like next level appreciation. So here are the nails done, and obviously this was the easier hand to work on, but also coming onto this hand while doing this hand first, I, it was like trial and error over here. I kind of understood how it works now and what I need to do. Now that I get it, I can see myself doing this all the time because it is so easy once you like get everything down. I'm gonna go ahead and start off by filing, um, as I showed you guys earlier, the nail. And like I said, what this is doing is kind of just taking off the top 
little area. If you guys know when you used to buy the old school little nails and you just have to twist it and take it off and there's always that little ridge of plastic left on there. That's kind of what this looks like. So I'm doing this just to kind of like, you know, smooth it out. I'm very confident on this hand. I wasn't confident on this one, but I feel like I kind of got it down now. Now, I'm sure you guys are probably wondering, will I do this again? Honestly, maybe. It's kind of easy. It's a lot of work. Like I have to prepare myself to do this on my own. I'm just really excited to have nails again. Oh my God. I miss my nails. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse off my hands really quickly and I'll be back to finish them off with some polish and top coat. Okay guys, we're on to the final stages of this nail tube. So far, I'm actually really into this. When I started this hand, I was really confused. I was not feeling it. I was like, this is not gonna work out. But once I made it over here, everything made sense. And this is all part of like learning new things. Trial and error. My first set isn't gonna come out as amazing as if I go to someone professional that does it for a living. But I think for my first time, I did a pretty good job. The more and more I practice, I feel like this is gonna get a lot easier. So I wanna now polish them because I do have some air bubbles, a couple of them. See them? A few of them. Um, I have a couple of air bubbles. It's not bothering me, but I just am concerned if they're gonna like pop off sometime during the week. Uh, but you know what? Like, it feels good to be back. It feels good to have my nails again. So now we're gonna go ahead and finish off my nails with these two parts right here. Both of these are from Kiara Sky. So we have the top coat that's gonna be going over the actual polish color. This one is their uh, Soak Off Gel Polish in the shade Bare Skin. Now this one is extremely similar to Lights from Lights Lacquer, which is a color I originally wanted to use, but I've heard that you actually can't use polish with gel so i had a backup but this color right here is everything guys if you guys get a chance pick this color up lights lacquer in lila um but anyways i decided to grab a similar shade to it picked up this one and i cannot wait to try it on um also real quick this guy right here is called a poppy it's from olive and june and it's like a little like silicone suction cup that makes applying so much easier you guys know how it is when you apply like the really thin ones it's sometimes it's hard to keep like a steady hand and you sometimes over apply the product this allows you to apply like a gentle amount i don't know it's like some scientific thing behind it it says on here that you need to apply one coat go in for 30 seconds another coat 30 seconds and then finish up the top coat i'm gonna do this hand first as you guys know my struggle hand we gotta do that one first all right let's do this i'm gonna go ahead and start off with the pinky i'm gonna do a very light coat Ooh, that's a really pretty color very natural I actually prefer doing natural nail polish colors over bright colors just because I am always wearing a bright color whether it's on my lips or on my eyes. So this just kind of balances it all out. For example, if I have green nail polish and then I wanna do like a hot pink look with yellow and orange, it's gonna drive me nuts seeing all those colors. So for me, this is like perfect for that reason. It also just looks really pretty as well. Okay, I'm actually gonna grab this little guy right here. I'm gonna try to be a professional. You guys, me pasé with the cuticle cutting because I can feel it going into my cuticles. Alrighty, one coat. Let's go 30 seconds. I'm going to go now and do my, sec Ooh, my second coat. Wow, this is so, so pretty. Okay, last thing I'm gonna go with some top coat. This is actually part of the kit. All comes together. You guys, I am like not the best at painting my nails, as you can see. All right, I'm letting it sit for 60 seconds and then we can finally finish this hand. The good hand. A few moments later. It's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> and lastly, I'm going to go ahead and do a little top coat it only requires you to do one uh, coat which some places do like two but I'm just gonna follow the instructions now if I'm being honest with you guys my painting is not the best as I like to say chaffa 
Here is the finish on my nails. I'm gonna top it off with some cuticle oil. I got this from Amazon and it is the uh, Cocio Natural Spa Cuticle Oil in Milk and Honey flavor scent. Add a drop onto the cuticles because we just, you know, did our best to make them look the best. Work it in, left and right. Oh my God, guys, it's crazy. Honestly, I think I actually did a pretty good job for this being the first time I've ever done my nails. For the first time doing it, like obviously you guys know I struggled a little bit. I was trying to figure it out, which is super common. Think about how it was for you the first time you ever applied cream highlight and contour or a cut crease, lashes, anything like that. It takes time, it takes practice, trial and error. This is definitely something I'm not gonna give up on because I can see myself doing my nails quite often. Do I need work? Absolutely. So I think the more and more I do it, the better I'm gonna become at doing it. I could have never done this with like actual acrylic and powder. There's no way. It would have looked like a damn thorn of that on my nails. Practice. Lots of practice is what I need. What do you guys think I need to do differently? What could I have done differently? Have you guys tried it before? Like, I want to talk to you guys. I want to get your guys' opinion on this or what you guys think about it. But yeah, that is pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and chug the rest of my rosé. Wow, that was a gulp. Uh, I'm going to bed. Love you all. <laughs> See y'all later. Bye.